I've been out here about 7.40 every morning to practice, so it was actually kind of nice. I haven't had an early tee time in a minute. Just felt like a practice round. I think it plays fair. I think it's gonna play tough, but the birdies are definitely out there. Felt really good. I know I was really focused and I, I just felt like my putting was really good from the get-go when I warmed up this morning, so it just worked out. And so I just feel like everything's kind of clicking. I think the challenge at least for me, was less managing the conditions and is more just kind of man managing my, my mentality and like my energy levels. For the final four holes, I really, really like to, I don't know, kick it into a slightly different gear and really, really pay attention because, you know, you've, you've gained all these strokes throughout the round and, you, you know, you've set yourself up and then you kind of just want to keep what you have, you know, going into the final holes. So I was happy with the finish. There's a lot of times where today I was just, my mind kind of wandered off and I had to tell myself to stay in it because I'm playing really well, so. I don't know, I kind of try to set myself up with a multifaceted kind of game plan to where it isn't like singular line of execution per hole. It's, I try to give myself, you know, two or three options. Yeah, just stick to the game plan. I was throwing great shots and I, I actually missed a few just outside the circle for more birdies. So yeah, just stay calm and keep it going. Hello and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open. This is the front nine of round two. Uh, this is presented by Latitude 64. Uh, it's the seventh stop of the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And I'm Rebecca Cox. And I think we're gonna go with Coxcomb commentary. And it's the thing on the rooster head, I did know that. Didn't wanna stay super bird themed, but it's also a flower in the amaranth family. And that's what we're going with. And enough about that, Kristen Tatar, perfect circle one X, just perfect period. No, I don't know, no criticisms. Yeah. Sayananda, 95% fairway hits, super accurate. She's She knows her bag so well, um, which is great out here. She actually throws a mile as well. She was out driving me all day yesterday, so. Yeah, we're gonna definitely be seeing more of Sides. Her first full year on tour. Hannah Wynn has been on tour. Is this her th second or third year? It doesn't matter, she's out here. Um, she's scrambling, 100% first in scramble. Uh, she can throw really far as well, and uh, it's gonna be fun to watch her. And Missy Gannon, as we know, she's also a great putter, 100% C1 circle one putting. Um, yeah, everyone seems to just be scrambling really well. That's really what you need to do out here is be solid on the putting and just scramble when out of position. Hole one is a par four, 699 feet. It's a big bomb downhill. Usually you wanna throw a turnover shot away from the OB line on the left. Uh, these, uh, This first huge green is definitely um, probably in your mind if you're just laying up. If you're going for it, there's six other hazard Welcome and OB Latitude areas to consider. 64. Make some noise for Kristen Tatar. The wind did pick up a little bit today. Nothing too intense, but it's I bet, there. Yeah, I think there's some shot selection or disc selection changes rather. Kristen starting it off with her Orbit Grand Grace, a little lower than you'd like. Sai Ananda has a Silver Series win already this year at Texas State. She got second last weekend at the Cascade Challenge. Um, she's out of Spokane, Washington. So pretty similar golf. Uh, lots of elevation, lots of big mature trees, lots of huge shots. Anna Wynn, fellow West Side teammate of size. Yeah, it's so cute because they've been practicing together and they have like YouTube videos and stuff of them playing together. It was pretty cute. Maybe a little bit nervy though off the tee for Hannah. She's going to be OB left pretty early. It's going to be nearly impossible to save the par. And everyone kind of burning them just a bit. I believe it was a slight headwind off the tee. Yeah, it was a little headwindy. Is he laying it up to the left? Yeah, perfect layup. About pin high, 100-ish feet. And Kristen's going for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, no. Oh, Never no. mind. I take it back. Ha ha. should have bet you. me. She's just so good with the forehand, I assumed. Yeah. It's just so risky. I mean, yeah. she was the only one to birdie it yesterday. Maybe she looked at the stats and was like, I don't need this one. <laughs> Man, like she's going for it. Yeah, Sai's way down there. It needs to find a happy place. Oh, it does. Can't decide if that was a layup, but the result is great. Hannah throwing her third. Yeah, she's farther down here than I thought. Definitely trying to go aggressive here on the right side. Um, there's slightly less out of bounds over there than the left, and she finds some green. Kristen, a little right, but that's really the, the mistake to make there. I think she's still close. Yeah. Just sometimes you don't put it right next to the basket when it's on that hill. <laughs> yeah, it makes for some risky putting. Let's see with a st pretty straightforward up shot. So I believe yesterday this plate is the second hardest hole on the course. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it, is it similar today? Oh, uh, yeah, it was the first hardest. Oh, first hardest. Wow. Here we go, Portland. Yeah, what a way to start the round with the hardest hole on the whole course. This would be one heck of a par save from Hannah. Come no on. way. Wow, okay. Good bid, though. Yeah, it stays a little close. bid. I saw in her eyes. She wanted <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, she did want it. Nice putt from Kristen. Yeah, a little far for the par putt, but she got it done. She converted. I like those distances if you make them on your first hole, because then you're like, oh, yeah, now yeah. we're ready. <laughs> Engine's all warmed up. Yeah, it's kind of like shaking off the first hole jitters. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, I can relax now. Kristen, Sai, and Missy all with pars. Hannah with the bogey. Uh, just a quick note that for this, the leaderboard, we are going back to live <coughs> scores versus the, in the first round uh, moving forward. For all the tournaments, we're going to have just the hole that, you know, lead card has played through, but we are live, so deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here. I don't make the decision. <laughs> we're just the messengers. Hole two, 327 feet, par three. There's Mando to the right that, I mean, nobody really wants to throw that way anyways. Um, the main gap is the left side um, of those trees or the middle gap if you're feeling it. Very reachable. Yeah, we saw some great forehands on this hole yesterday. That is absolutely the play if you have it. And Kristen has it. Looks like she's maybe 25 to 27 feet orbit rive forehand. Sai doesn't really throw the forehand really yeah, ever. I don't think I've ever really seen her throw it. Um, she's a master of the backhand game, though, in the turnover. It was a hybrid getaway. She, uh, she, she deep circled. She launched it, yeah. Deep circle too. <laughs> okay. Let's see with the turnover as well. Kind of looks overturned, but there's room over there's there. There's room over there. Not a ton of room though. Okay, big arm Missy also just out driving. Oh, dang, there's OB over there. Uh, just went over the line. I liked how high she kept it though. If it didn't keep going. It looks like Hannah's lining up the more typical backhand route that you see, trying to go, ooh, oh, usually you're trying sneaky. to go left side of yeah. that tree. <laughs> uh, but she's going to find the circle. Mm -hmm. Missy for a very long par save. She's outside circle two. Oh, walking in, girl. Oh, oh man. I really liked the stretch he had going, though. Yeah. Like, very confident. Loved the confidence. Sai coming up short on her birdie bin.
It's like Kristen has a bit of a headwind putt. It don't matter. No, it doesn't. Yeah, we're going to gauge the mile per hour of the wind based on how much her sleeves are ruffling. You see her sleeves are yeah. so frilly. <laughs> Great putt from Hannah. Way to get the birdie after that bogey on hole one. I also think sometimes it's hard to convert the birdie. When you get a little lucky, you're like, oh, man, do yeah. I really deserve this? <laughs> that was a great putt. But that's when you say, yes, I do. I do. I really do. So smooth. So, so baller. Pure. Yeah. To have your own putter with your stamp on it. Mm -hmm. It just goes in the basket all the time. Sick. <laughs> Kristen with a two-stroke lead over Cy. Hole three is a par three, 332 feet. Mandatory tree on the left. You're either gonna go under these branches that the drone is flying through and kind of take a low skip line near this stump, uh, or a lot of these ladies are gonna take a much wider hyzer line, try to get the big flare skip and get a putt towards this elevated basket. There is OB deep. Every time I say, but it doesn't come into play, it does. So let's just say it could come into play. Kristen sticking with her game plan from yesterday. It's the same Grand Orbit Rive. Oh, just filters through all those trees. That's perfect. Hannah with a Ballista Pro. It's a good shot. She catches a couple late branches. Uh, I'm not sure she's somewhere around circle two, maybe just short. I love the shot shape from Sai. Dang, she clips the same thing as Hannah. Sai has that effortless distance. Like you look at mm -hmm. her throw and then you're like, oh, it's wow, it's still going. Like, how'd you do that? Eyes are skipping with Missy. Oh, never Dang. mind. Close. Good angle. Missy up first. Long birdie look. Think she's going for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Missy, don't lay up. Oh, man. Yeah, the focus is there. Look at that wind, too. Side trying to give it kind of a floaty Anheuser run. Just kind of shrugs it off. <laughs> Par's fine. Hannah with the layup. No shame in that girl. It is slightly less fun though. Just, just slightly. <laughs> Kristen two for three start. Other three ladies on our lead card going to take par. Juliana Corver and Rachel Turton, two down through five and six holes. Four, 485 feet, par four. Here we have the landing zone right about here or right before this walkway. We have a water carry for our upshot with a sand trap, a OB green and an OB, li OB line, long OB. Okay, so did you hear all that OB? <laughs> <laughs> because there's a ton of it. Um, the thing here is just um, controlling your distance. Yeah, I think it's easy to either blast 
too far past the landing zone, challenge the water, or get a little nervous of doing that and then leave it really mm -hmm. short and then have a large, larger up shot. Like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Just down. like that. Just like that. It just trickles down. Plus, with that later landing zone being blind, it kind of makes it take off a little bit. Yeah. Hannah oh. taking this, yeah, way out, right? But it's fine over there. Yeah. I like the, like, intentional wide hyzer. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit more power. A little, a little more juice. Sigh, nice yeah. floaty high shot. I like how I like how high she threw that. So even if you do pump it, it's so nose up that yeah, kind of loses kinda that float down. Yeah. And she stays kind of on the the top shelf rather than the bottom shelf mm -hmm. landing zone. Um, mm -hmm. Luckily, she's not on that side hill though, because that can make for some awkward footing. Like this just from like Missy. This. You keep predicting. Yeah, <laughs> it's like just I've about to seen it. <laughs> yeah, I'm over there in the bushes actually, just <laughs> taking notes. Sigh that. Oh, I, think I was going to say so that needs to get down, but it did it exactly. Did. It that. did exactly that. Beautiful. It was. This is such a tiny little landing zone we saw. Mm -hmm. I believe two of our ladies yesterday pull it right into the water and one go left onto the green. It is very hard to land safe on this tiny little strip Come of on, land. Come on, skip up. Come on. At least touch the oh, inbound. Dang. We'll see what mark they give her. I'm not sure that that crossed in at any point. Hannah just going stand still. It's kind of oh, nice on that right side. She can go yeah. around the tree. It's more of a direct path to the basket and just inside the throws tree. Throws it into the hill. Look at that. Yeah, that was great. A little bit of a decision-making putt. Tang Missy taking the short side lie, throwing her fourth shot. Nice. Well within her range. So any OB off the tee pad is a mandatory drop zone shot. Is it bad that I never even looked at this? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm sure everybody yeah, laid well, up. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna, <laughs> we're going to make it, no problem. Yeah. Kristen a little short, but it don't matter. Good recovery for par. Oh. That's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> it's not an easy drop zone, yeah. but it is gettable for sure. Oh, I love the commitment on that putt. Glad it sat down. Sigh for her first birdie of the round. Cash. And Missy saving par two. Wow. Kristen sticking with the two-stroke lead over Sayananda. Missy Gannon dropping back into that tie for eighth, but it's early. Hole five is a par three, 375 feet. Mandatory tree on the right. Um, a kind of turning, gently turning Anheuser shot is the way to go. Uh, I think a sidearm would kind of fade too early. This one is pretty tough to reach. We did not see very many birdies as a field yesterday. It's a very specific shot shape. You kind of want to like flip it up, then drift. Yeah, you want something that's gonna turn over slowly as it continues its flight or stays straight so it doesn't hyzer out into those woods. And that's completely fine where she's at. Totally fine, yep. Yeah, parse feels good on this one. It's a gold line orbit grace. Kristen with her Saint Pro, finding the Gorgeous. circle. Too easy. Ooh, pretty. I love that shot shape. Yeah, Hannah throws those VIP kings, which are very flippy and has great control over the disc. Yeah, I can see how these ladies play this hole so well just because 
Sai, Anna, and Missy all throw like really understable mm-hmm. high speed discs, but they have so much control and they have so much trust in them. Yeah. You can just throw them a mile. And yeah, this shot's kind of made for <laughs> their style <laughs> yeah, of game for absolutely. sure. Sai <laughs> so just laying up that tree was right in her way. Anna laying it up. Yeah, it's well, you can kind of tell from this angle. It's steeper than it looked mm-hmm. from the other angle. A little bit risky. Missy Heiser's to the left. We'll see what kind of putt she has left for her par. Flawless. Mm-hmm. Great start from Kristen. Three down through five. I mean, yesterday she had the hot round only at five under, so mm-hmm. it'll be interesting to see how many birdies she or anyone else can stack up today. Missy makes good on the comebacker, and Hannah taps in hers, and side for par as well. Juliana having a great round. Three down through seven. Another good straight thrower. Hole five. No, hole six. <laughs> par five. 960 feet. Uh, it's kind of flat-ish until you get to about right here, and then you're just throwing straight uphill from this point forward. It's a very, very steep incline. There's a mando tree and an OB line on the right that kind of comes into play and blocks off the big... Anheuser S shot that a lot of people like to get for their distance. The basket sits atop this hill, just wishing people would birdie it. Yeah, just hoping, dreaming. <laughs> uh, only Ella Hansen was able to birdie this one yesterday. Let's see if anyone else can get it. It played as, I think, the second most difficult hole, or third yesterday, second today. This is a great shot from Kristen. Kept it high enough, it had a full flight. Sai with a Ballista Pro in hand. That looks really good as well. Mm-hmm. Do you think she uses that handkerchief for anything? I don't know. <laughs> to get birdies. Yeah, that's a really good point. Anna kind of saws it off just a little bit. She's fine, she's out of the gap. It's going to be really hard to get up there for a birdie from that far back, though. Missy, don't tell me. It's a thrasher. Oh, wow. How'd you guess? <laughs> it is her 2023 Tour mm-hmm. Series thrasher, oh. though. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. It's always like, Missy, can you send your disc list? And it's usually 90% thrasher <laughs> or more. Hannah just putting one up in the sky. That's really what these next two shots are. Just trying to get as much distance as possible. Yeah, the third shot's always a little tricky dealing with the hillside. Like, it's hard not to throw super nose up. And sometimes when you're on that hill as well, the footing yeah. can be very difficult. Yeah, when your target's so much higher than you, it's easy to, like, over overshoot the oh, height yeah. mm-hmm. and then just take everything out of... Right, and then it just kind of goes to the sky and fades back towards you a little bit. <laughs> wow, that's some great power on that <laughs> one from Kristen. Man, size way up here. Yeah, you notice how she's the last to throw her up shot? Uh-huh. Yeah, she's little. She uses about a third of the tee pad, and she outdrives everybody. Right? The she math ain't like mathing on that for me. The world's strongest core. <laughs> Anna, she doesn't use that much tee pad. That's she funny. She doesn't. I, it's so I annoying. About I that, use really. the whole thing. It's so annoying. I, I start behind the tee pad, 50 feet behind her. <laughs> <laughs> Missy's third. Looks like she's going to get to the top of the hill just about. Maybe a really long putt. Should be an easy par, if nothing else. 
Yeah, really no danger around the basket. You just want to make sure you're not right behind one of these big fat trees. It makes it kind of impossible to straddle around. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely not talking from personal experience. No, or no, I couldn't tell. It sounded <laughs> generic to me. Everyone goes through it. Uh, just a reminder that uh, Jomez Pro is giving away an uh, all inclusive trip to Pro World, so check that out. These are some really great upshots. Yeah. Like, they're playing this hole really well. See with the long birdie look. Definitely trying to ring this up. It's a great effort. About 15 feet deep. Aside from somewhere like around 75. Hits the pole. Kristen, what do you think? 55? Oh, oh yeah. I think it's a birdie. <laughs> oh, the Kristen fist bumps really get me going too. They're rare. Like they mean something. Mm -hmm. So yeah. good. Just the confidence she has to have. Having 100% C1 yesterday. Yeah. And that's and what she said. C2. She said it's all about confidence for her. And with the long par look. Come on. Dang. Missy with a solid par putt. One over for Missy so far in the round. Definitely trying to find some birdies. And along with Kristen Tatar's incredible birdie on this hole, Ella Hansen got it again. Nice. And Paige Pierce today with a huge throw in. Really? Yeah, from like at the top of the hill. Wow, nice. All right. Kind of feels like an eagle, though. Yeah. Only one to three <laughs> people are getting it, but that is a great one to get. This is the new up to ice orbit. Look. At this very nice thing. <laughs> Hole seven is a par three, 360 feet downhill. It is blind. The OB on the right doesn't really come into play unless you burn something really, really early. You're kind of aiming at that tree uh, that's on the right side, just outside the circle, and just trying to fade in kind of right next to it. The hazard bunkers on the left side collect a lot of shots if you hyzer out too early. Um, it's largely going to be a straight pushing backhand that fades towards that tree. We did see Ella throw a crazy forehand line yesterday. Oh, oh, is it is it perfect? <laughs> it's actually maybe just yeah. outside the circle for Kristen. Going fast and low. I mean, as long as it's able to crest the initial part of that hill, it usually carries. I kind of turning something over a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. She'll just be long with a kind of scary. I mean, I yeah. wouldn't go for it. I mean, I would, but I have the world's <laughs> softest putt, so <laughs> if I miss it, stays close. Uh, it's definitely a dangerous putt if you have more of a direct spin putt. I think Missy yanked it to the right a little bit more than she meant to, but. I think that's, if you're going to make an error, I think that's yeah. the best one, though. Mm-hmm because you're not going to find those bunkers that way. Hannah, a little fluffy Looks a little maybe. early. Hopefully that misses all the danger. Stop. Dang, that's going to be a really long look at a par save as well. Going from the hazard. It's like a pretty awkward stance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> nervous for a sec. I listens yeah. to Rebecca, who I like to think is like the good angel of like <laughs> smart putting plays. Whereas I'd be like, you could give it a bid. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. But like that, like Missy, soft bid. Yeah. Kristen having a pretty good angle. Oh man, that looked high out of her hand, but the reaction was good. Yeah, she stays close for She her looked part. at it like it didn't go in. <laughs> <Wow>. It's broken. <laughs> it's 
Something's wrong with this basket, you guys. Pulls out a, a leveler. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just a level. All right. No one comment about that, please. Hannah with the bogey and the rest of the card with cars on that one. That's the face you make when you lay up, even though you didn't want to lay up. <laughs> oh, but it's the smart experience. thing to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kristen separating herself just a little bit. Juliana Corver taking over solo second over Sayananda. Hole eight, 725 feet straight downhill, par four. There is Mando tree right there. The furthest tree to the left, that big one. Doesn't really mean much. <laughs> Not a lot of people are going that far left off the tee pad. Um, that's our basket right there, past this little double stump. Double stump? Sounds like a skateboard trick. It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the only way that mandatory comes into play is if you really <clears throat> saw one off off the tee. Yeah. And then it, all it does is force a hyzer second shot. It's not that bad. But um, we're going to watch these ladies try to stay a little bit more on the right side. It's more open. I don't know. You might have to think about the mandatory a little bit. That was a bomb, though. Yeah, these ladies are about to unleash. This is, I think, the most fun tee shot on the course. It really is. Not really any danger. It's one where you just climbed up this big par five. <laughs> right. You know, this super hard little par three, and you're uh -huh. like, finally, I can unleash. Yep. Get a little looser with it. Smash some anger into it, depending on what happened on yeah. these two holes. <laughs> but having a like, quote unquote, unquote, easy birdie in front of you. Yeah, this on a one hard course is one of the few that just doesn't it does not feel good to not have a look at the yeah. very least at birdie. Um, everyone doing a really great job of getting super far down the hill. Trespass from Hannah. Little flip up play. Anna up first. You kind of oh, want to go good. right. Oh, Ooh, dang, catches some branches. Yeah. Still fantastic. Yeah. You kind of want to aim right at the old double stump mm -hmm. and just like let it fade in. Yeah, you're usually framed up for the straight shot or you kind of just want to throw it over that stump, give it more power, just like that. I think Sai needs like a much smaller amount of uh, like a protein shake in the morning or Dude, whatever she's, she's doing. She smashed this up shot the first <laughs> round too, like way far. That was closer. Yeah, she <sighs> she's just so strong. Missy leaving it just outside the circle short. And Kristen not quite far enough left to have to really think about that mandatory, though it is slightly more of a hyzer angle. Oh, and oh, is it perfect? <laughs> oh, bullseye? Great shot. Wow, what a round. Kristen already going to get to that five down mark that she hit yesterday. And it's windier. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, great bid oh. from Sai. <laughs> she wanted it too. What a, what a good look. That was a really fun little line. Hannah from just outside the circle for her second birdie of the round. Come on. Oh, man. Just a little bit. Boom. There we go, Missy. Missy finds some green. Gets back to even par. Looks yeah. very bouncy. Kristen with yet another birdie, increasing her lead. You just take that bit that you just said and that'll summarize kind of the year, <laughs> her year so far. Copy paste. Yeah. Missy gonna overtake Hannah there. Paige Pierce is two down through 10 uh, in solo fourth. Hole nine already, whoa. <laughs> it's a par three, 300 feet, double mandatory. You're trying to throw a straight shot, but it, 
the ceiling gets in the way, so it's tough to throw like a mid-range or something slower because you can't really get the height you need. So fairway driver is probably the most common play. There is one tree that's kind of just off to the left that blocks like the classic hyzer flip up um, to Anheuser shot. So you see a lot of ladies kind of pushing straight and then fading out a little left. Or you Turn could over just be in perfect. Front of that tree. <laughs> I guess she's a little short. Yeah, a little bit of a touchy shot. You might have just a little bit of a tailwind here. I'm not sure if Missy was trying to go for that left side. I don't think so. It looked a little early. She does make the mandatory. Could be a bit of an awkward second shot, though. That's so crazy, just watching how little of the tee pad Sai uses. It's insane. I've, like, yeah. never really thought about it before. Living proof that you don't need to, like, super smash something over stable. Yeah. I mean, she has good distance. has perfect timing. Hannah hitting that same tree that Missy did. Pretty wide open, straight look. Definitely, like, one of those kind of nervy ones, though. There you go. And hits a tree, but it's a nice <laughs> little reaction. Missy probably looking to run this. <laughs> Give it a little something, something. Uh huh. Come on. Oh, oh so good. You're gonna do it. I love it. Missy's always trying to throw it in. My goodness, Kristen's eyes right there. So focused. Yeah. <sighs> and it works. Oh yes. Let's see it again. Her eyes are so intense, you're right. Like She's like, kind this of, is going in, I don't care what anybody has to say about it. Reminds me of like, like a jungle cat hunting. Like, <laughs> I got this one. That's like a six down. I with a great putt as well to go two down, bogey free through the front. Yeah, very clean. Yeah. And to clean up her par. And Hannah's two over, looks a little nervous maybe, but she's not far off from having a good round. Let's see if she can clean it up on the back. Yeah. It can be tough when you're on that card where everyone's just getting birdies left and right and you're kind of struggling. Mm -hmm. Hard to get that confidence up, but nine more holes ahead of us. Yeah, check out Juliana Corver. Five down through 10. That's so cool. Paige Pierce having a good round, two down through 10. Rachel, uh, I don't know how you say her last name. I feel like a dummy, but <laughs> Turton from uh, the UK, also two down through 12. She bombs. Look out for her. Uh, lots of people figuring it out today. It looks like a little bit more under par than yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, got a whole nother nine. It's a beautiful day here in Portland. Thank you guys for joining us. And um, I'm Erica Stinchko. And I'm Rebecca Cox. And? And? This and is, you guys say it this time. All right. Well, this is, uh, was it? Was it's it? Cox Comb, Cox Comb commentary. commentary. I looked at your last name yeah. and saw Stinch and it completely threw me off. Yep. You can't put me on the spot like that. You're I'm right. Panic. You're right. It's my fault. All right. Thank you to the Founders Club. See you on the back.